Hi everybody, today I'm going to play through another one of uh, Elvis's old tunes and it's called All Shook Up. Um, I'm going to play it through for you and then I'm going to show you how I approach the tune and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some sort of a guitar lesson going for you on it. It's only in um, only three chords in the tune, A, D and E and uh, first of all I'm going to play through the the tune and then I'm going to play through the chords um, that, that you'll need to play this tune and it's a tune that you can two of two people can play one playing the chords and one playing the melody and it's quite a fun tune to play so let's get started with um, All Shook Up and uh, we'll see how we go <coughs> So that was the that was me running through all shook up. Not the greatest recording in the world, but you'll get the idea. But to start this tune off, as I say, it's in only in three chords A, D, and E. But you're starting off with the um, with your first finger barring um, 
all three strings on that first fret but what I'm actually doing, I'm only bar I'm barring the three, but I'm actually only going to play the the, sec, the third and second string. So what I'm doing, I'm sort of as before Elvis starts singing, I'm coming in like this. And then Elvis starts singing, so And that is the, the mainly the, the verse that he, that plays all the way through the tune. The tune's only two minutes long, um, but uh, it's a it's a it's a fun tune to play. It's got a bit of life to it. Uh, so um, the main riff is um, like the E note there, which is on the sec second fret of the fourth string. Bend there. I'm bending up that third string at the full fret. She's doing a whammy there. And that is the first verse all the way through there. I mean, if you can get that bit off, you, you're all halfway through to getting the, getting the song down. And the next bit will be the middle eight part. So we're on to the middle section. And this all takes place around the... Uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh frets. So you, if you can do it with um, with with all your fingers without moving, you can stay in that one position. Um, so it it starts off on the, the the C note there, which is the uh, fifth fret, third string. Is that middle section I'll just go through that again five there five four on the third string two a two a notes on the fourth string which is at the seventh fret ending up on that C there which is the uh, fifth on the third third uh, string the next bit And that goes over onto that E note, which is on that uh, fifth string at the seventh fret. And there's a, a, like a little little uh, slide. That's on the second string between the seventh and, and fifth frets. And you're back on the tune. So just do that, just do that to again. That is kind of all shook up, really. If you've got those, you can get those two sections down. 
there's nothing more else there's nothing else in the song to to worry you really um right at the end it's just a repeat of the uh ending up on that A chord at the 5th fret because you're down there it makes a nice contrast to play that A chord to stop to finish it yes yeah, so as I was saying it's quite just quite a simple little tune only two minutes long you can get a decent backing track off the internet uh, go for a, an all shook up karaoke one and that'll be just as just as good to to uh, to play over it and um have fun with it and uh say so makes makes make um a go of it and uh i think you'll find that to uh, if you can get sort of someone to accompany you on the calls you won't need the backing track you can just play just the two of you and it will come out quite all right so okay i'll catch up with you next time and um bye, -bye for now